hey, we're on the farm and we're moving some pet pigs today. Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Amy with Roseside Farm. Um, we're out here in late January on the eastern shore of Maryland. I'm um, doing a little project with, uh, we try not to have a lot of pets on the farm, you know, try to have every per animal have a purpose. We do, however, have two pot belly pigs who um, just my wife grew attached to. So we, we have two pet pigs and today we're going to be moving them um, out of this little electrified pen we have into an area that we kind of want them to see if they'll, they'll clear it out for us a little bit. Here in my workbench, we've got a turkey who is broody and has decided to make this a little nest. Let's see. One egg down there, but I don't think those eggs are fertile because I tried to incubate some turkey eggs. And after a couple weeks, there was nothing going on after candling them. So if uh, this turkey continues to stay in this corner, I think I'm gonna throw some chicken eggs under them to see if uh, you know we can kind of get a free incubator out of her. Here are the turkeys waiting for breakfast. They, they are 100% free range. They roam the bar, roam the property. But in the morning time, they know it's feed time. And here is Jelly Bean, the black one, Ugly Betty. The white one, and they are in this pen with electrified uh, wire. May not even be turned on right now um, because Jelly Bean was taken off. She'd end up a mile down the road and then Ugly Betty would follow her and I'd have to take a trip and kind of coax them back to the property. So uh, had to stick them in a pen, but it's been wet here. So they've turned this pen into pretty much mud and we'll plant something here come spring um you know they kind of tilted up and fertilized it but where we want to move them is right across the property to this tree line and what we want to do with this tree line is have it cleared out a little bit and we did a lot of clearing already um so if you look back there the overgrown brush is how everything looked but we cleared this out, so it's nothing but ground, leaves, um, very little vegetation left. And to get a look at what it used to look like, was this. So just overgrown brush and trees and weeds. And um, so I'm gonna make a pen and then try to keep moving them down maybe we won't clear this one out as much and see how much they'll clear out or next time i get some pigs uh for the butcher maybe start them back here to see if they clear out all of this brush moving over to our egg layers let them out in the morning here This used to be the turkey coop. Let's see what we got down there. So we're collecting some eggs this morning. So they're putting in the work. So really all we need for this is some, uh, some T-post, a pipe pounder, and um, we're gonna use poly wire, you know, braided poly wire is our electric fence, nothing high tensile. Um, very, very um, temporary fencing, removable fencing. Uh, because I want to make a small pen here, close it off, and then have like different paddocks and work our way down over the winter, spring, and into the summer. So now got the poly wire. So all I'm going to do is weave it two strands along the little paddock that I created, leaving the entire front open 
because I have to coax Ugly Betty and Jelly Bean to come over here. So the entire front's going to be open and hopefully they'll be eating somewhere and I can get this closed off before uh, they want to take a little adventure. So I have the poly wire on three sides of our pen. Pen's a little bit bigger than I initially thought, but we'll see how it goes. It's all just very much an experiment. Just that I've pinned in three sides, leaving the, the broad side and the front open. I'm just gonna let them go and move feet over here and hopefully it'll be a smooth transition. Um, or they could decide to go for an adventure and take a little hike. We're gonna find out. Try to tempt them with some food. <laughs> food scraps. Hey guys. Hey. <laughs> Betty. <laughs> so, Jelly Bean sees that electric wire still laying on the ground. Ugly Betty may not have. I'm just gonna move that out of the way. And they've been on the honor system for a little while. That, that electric fence hasn't been plugged in probably in two weeks. Spilled a little bit of food, so they're gonna stay there for a minute. Try to get behind her. Come on. Turkey's getting into the mix. Come on, guys. <laughs> Big, beautiful Tom. <laughs> I knew it wasn't going to be that easy. Probably should have waited to uh, feed those turkeys because Ugly Betty went for it immediately. Thing that may help I'll close this garage door. So I want to move their water, just in a little, little fish pond. I'll move that over there. Hopefully the more things that are familiar to them and comfortable for them, the more likely they'll be to jump in. She still believes that wire's there. And she is the leader. 
actually staying right on that old fence line. It doesn't exist anymore. Which is why I could have them on the honor system for so long and not have the fence even plugged in. We were moving a cow, working on the barn, so we had to turn the fence off and just never plug it back in. There you go. She's out. Now to get her where I want her. You really can't force pigs to go where they don't want. You have to convince them that that's where they want to go. So if they want to get away from you, you stand behind them. I found the faster you move, the less chance you have of being successful. So we're going to wait them out. All this food for him. Jelly. So they're in. Um, now, I don't have electric over here yet. I've got to rig up a wire uh, from the barn. I've got to take it down the length of the barn, maybe up here. I need to travel it underground or over top just to get this wire hot. They've been living on the honor system for a while, but it's a brand new environment to them. So they, they may start testing the fence a little bit just to see what's going on. I'm gonna give them some more food. Make sure they're fat and happy. I want to put some uh, step-in posts around here, just wherever it starts to sag a little bit. And um, hopefully we have a new temporary home for uh, Jelly Bean and Ugly Betty. We've got the strand. We've got step-in posts. Just kind of wherever it felt natural. Have their water here. Dump some food, some table scraps, some eggs. So hopefully they're fat and happy.